world where colossal creatures rule the land and humans are merely trespassers in their kingdom. Welcome to the age of dinosaurs. This was a time unlike any other, a time when giants roamed the earth and the sky. A period spanning over 180 million years, a period so vast, it's difficult to comprehend. This era, known as the Mesozoic era, was divided into three epochs, the Triassic, Jurassic, and Cretaceous periods. The Triassic period, the dawn of the dinosaurs, was marked by the emergence of small bipedal creatures. As we moved into the Jurassic period, these creatures evolved into massive long-necked behemoths, the sauropods, the largest animals to have ever lived on land. Then came the Cretaceous period, the climax of the dinosaur age, a time of astonishing diversity. From the fearsome Tyrannosaurus rex, the king of predators, to the gentle herbivorous Triceratops, the dinosaur kingdom was vast and varied. But the world of dinosaurs was not just about size and strength. It was a world of intricate ecosystems and delicate balances. Dinosaurs, like modern animals, had to adapt to their environment, find food, reproduce and protect their young. Each species had its unique way of life, its unique role in the ecosystem. Yet this was a world fraught with danger. Predators lurked in every corner, natural disasters were common, and survival was a constant struggle. The dinosaurs were not just rulers of this world, they were also its survivors, enduring through countless challenges and adversities. As we journey back to this time of giants, we find ourselves in awe of these magnificent creatures, their sheer size, their diversity and their resilience. We marvel at their adaptations, their survival strategies and their intricate social structures. The dinosaur age, a time of wonder and terror, a time of life and death, a time when the world was truly wild. Now let's bring in the wild card, humans. In a world dominated by dinosaurs, where do humans fit in? Imagine for a moment you're in the Mesozoic era, the age of reptilian giants. Where does our species, Homo sapiens, find its place in this colossal jigsaw puzzle? Firstly, survival would be our primary focus. The gargantuan beasts that roam these lands would pose an imminent threat to our existence. As humans, we would need to adapt and evolve, not just physically, but mentally too. Our brains, our greatest asset, would become our primary tool for survival. We might not be the biggest or the strongest, but we are the smartest. We could possibly adopt a nomadic lifestyle, constantly on the move to avoid the predatory gaze of these towering creatures, hunting smaller dinosaurs for sustenance, using their hides for protection against the elements, and their bones to fashion tools and weapons. And what about shelter? Caves would be our best bet. They would provide a natural barrier against the outside world, a fortress against the prehistoric predators, our lives would be a constant game of hide and seek, a balance between being the hunter and the hunted. But let's not forget about our innate human curiosity. We would strive to understand these creatures, observe their behaviors and learn from them. Our survival would depend not just on our ability to avoid these creatures, but also on our understanding of them. In this harsh and volatile environment, our ability to innovate and adapt would be tested to its limits. We would need to devise new strategies, invent new tools, and continuously evolve our skills to survive and thrive in the dinosaur era. Yet the human spirit is not just about survival. It's about community, about sharing knowledge and experiences, about forming bonds and relationships. In the midst of all the danger and uncertainty, humans would find a way to establish a semblance of society, a sense of community, but life wasn't all about survival. Let's delve into the social aspects. Human society, as we know it, would have been drastically different in the dinosaur age. Imagine, if you will, a world where humans and dinosaurs coexist. It's a world where the social structures, cultural practices, and technological advancements we take for granted today would be altered beyond recognition. For starters, social structures would likely revolve around survival. With behemoth predators the size of a school bus walking the earth, humans would have to band together for protection. Communities would be tight-knit, with a strong emphasis on collective responsibility and mutual support. Everyone would have their role, whether it's hunting, gathering, or keeping a lookout for any approaching T-Rex. Cultural practices, too, would be shaped by this dinosaur-dominated world. Our ancestors would likely worship these colossal creatures, seeing them as gods or powerful spirits. 
art and storytelling would teem with tales of daring encounters with dinosaurs, and rituals might involve offerings to appease these giant beasts. Technological advancements would follow a different trajectory than what we know today. In a world where survival is paramount, technology would be driven by necessity. The invention of the wheel, fire, or even the spear might have come earlier. And who knows, our ancestors might have even found ways to harness the power of dinosaurs, leading to a completely different kind of industrial revolution. But it's not just about survival. Dinosaurs would influence every aspect of human life, from our diet to our dwellings and even our dreams. We would learn from them, adapt to them, and evolve with them. In this alternate reality, dinosaurs wouldn't just be neighbors, they'd be catalysts for change, pushing humanity to adapt, innovate, and survive against the odds. So, when we think of the dinosaur age, we shouldn't just think of a world filled with terrifying predators. Instead, we should imagine a world that could have shaped human society in ways we can barely comprehend. A world that could have made us stronger, smarter, and more resilient. Now let's contrast this to our current world. As we journey back to our current era, the stark differences become clear. Imagine, if you will, a world without the comforts of modern technology. No smartphones, no internet, no cars, not even a simple electric bulb. That's the life we would have led in the dinosaur age. We would have been part of the food chain, always on the lookout for predators, always on the move, always surviving. Now contrast that with today's life. We've come so far, haven't we? We've built cities that touch the sky. We've created machines that ease our daily lives. We've even set foot on the moon. We've moved from survival to thriving, from being prey to becoming the planet's dominant species. But let's not forget life in the dinosaur age would have had its own unique challenges. We wouldn't have been at the top of the food chain for one. We would have had to share our world with creatures far more enormous and powerful than us. Every day would have been a battle for survival, a test of our wits and instincts. It's fascinating to think about, isn't it? The skills we would have needed to survive in the dinosaur age are so different from the skills we need today. Back then, physical strength and agility would have been key. Today, it's all about intellectual prowess and technological know-how. But despite the stark differences, there's one thing that hasn't changed our capacity for innovation. Whether it's inventing fire to ward off predators or creating the internet to connect with each other, we've always found ways to adapt and thrive in our environment. So yes, life in the dinosaur age would have been drastically different from life today. But who's to say it wouldn't have been exciting? After all, isn't the thrill of the unknown part of what makes life so interesting? So what does this all mean for us? Living in the dinosaur age would have been a drastically different experience, but what can we learn from it? It's not just about survival or how we would adapt, but the lessons are far-reaching.